So, the first one is what I call medial and lateral hops. So, I need that person to be able to go lateral, medial, lateral, and medial, lateral, and medial, lateral, medial, and start speeding it up. So, before we were just sort of jumping once and coming back. Now I'm going to try and go sort of tick tocking like a, almost like a metronome. So, from one leg, I call it medial lateral hops. I need to go in and out over the line. So, in, instead of thinking about, I want them to go, if I do it this way for you, it might be easier for you to see. Instead of thinking about, I want you to go from this square and low bear into this square, I want to keep my center of gravity over the line. So my knee is actually going immediately and laterally. So I'm landing now on an angle. Before I was load bearing and going like this and trying to land like that, I'm now past that stage. I want my body to stay center if I can and switch my leg underneath me like that. A lot more shear load going on medial and lateral. Pretty important for a medial ligament recovery, right? That's going to be really lateral ligament recovery, ACL ligament recovery. So important in this medial lateral work. Okay, so any one of your clients, medial lateral, ACL, post PCL injuries, that is going to be really important going towards that end stage. When they've healed up, they've strengthened up, they've got everything in check, now we need to push this a bit further before that sport starts. That's one of a, uh, an absolute must for me medium lateral hops. Then I go, okay, that's just being stationary. In sport, we move forward, we move back. Okay? Let's just work on the move forward. They can work on the move back in their skill acquisition. But the moving forward is what I call in and outs. This is almost like hopscotch for young kids. You're gonna try and go in the square and out, but moving forward on a diagonal. So, in, out, in, out. Just like hopscotch. Kids are good at this. I find like I've got a seven year old at a seven year old skier who is better than this than any one of my clients. Because she does hopscotch. She's got that skill acquisition. And she wasn't injured. We're doing that for prevention. But it was amazing to see how well she first did it and how quickly she did how and the improvements came through. Because she just reignited a few things that she was doing that year playing hopscotch, they know how to do it. So there's a lot to be said about having a skill acquisition and then using that. Might be a bit harder with someone who doesn't have that, but you can still teach it. 